Welcome back guys. Today we have yet another video. Uh, it is an installation of a uh, HW Fly. This is actually a new 2040, they call it, uh, let's see here, new 2040 plus. So I recently got these chips and uh, this is actually one of the first uh, videos that I make of uh, this type of installation. The other uh, some of the videos I've made in the past, uh, I installed an RP2040 just by wiring the uh, uh, the actual uh, WaveShare chip onto the uh, board. So this is going to make it a lot easier. We, uh, we should be able to finish this installation within 10-15 minutes, maybe even less. So um, I've disassembled the unit already. And of course we uh, unplug the uh, power. So we're going to go ahead and, and uh, clean up the board here. I removed the um, the metal shield from the CPU and the RAM, uh, and I already went ahead and, and, and cut the piece here that will uh, fit the flex cable from the CPU capacitors. So we'll start by removing some of this thermal paste that we'll use uh, when we close it up, okay? This is the way I do it. This is the way I've done many, many uh, Nintendo Switch installations. So hopefully this uh, this video can help some of you guys that want to do it yourselves. If not, you can always send it to me. Send it to us and we can take care of that for you. You can visit our website at w-a-y-a-y-e-o y-a-y-o.org or simply make a, a Google search or watch any of our other videos okay so we're going to clean this up with a small and uh, very soft toothbrush here it's actually supposed to be made out of bamboo so I don't know if it helps with the uh, bristles here but it, it works really well so let's clean it with some q-tips So this is a version 1 um, Nintendo Switch. This uh, thermal paste will not interfere with any other connectors. It's not conductive, so we should be fine there. We're going to start by removing the that chip here and we're, we want to remove this this metal piece from it so that it's off now we're going to cover this Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chip And now, just to kind of eyeball things here, we're gonna, we're gonna put, be putting this one here. This is the chip, by the way. It comes with a an RP2040. So they're they're pretty cool, pretty easy to install, especially in this model. Uh, we don't have to worry about the uh, the, the point on the back. Pretty st straightforward. So here we go, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead proceed with the uh, CPU here flex cable. This is for the first version 1, so let's make sure that it works and it fits fine. It looks like it does. For any of you that have uh, experience installing this or maybe not, uh, the same supplier that supplied most of my chips um, had a bad batch of uh, OLED not too uh, not too long ago, maybe a, a month ago, and I purchased quite a few, and I started noticing that the flex cables. It, it was just for the OLED, by the way. Uh, they were not. It wasn't working, so. Luckily, I, I was able to figure out the problem and uh, 
and correct the issue with the flex cable and uh, anyways just in case you guys have any issues you need to contact that supplier or send me I guess a message and I'll, li I'll link you to which one it is I haven't tried this one but he said that these are perfectly fine so let's go ahead and test them we're applying a little bit of flux and then we're going to go ahead and let's zoom in here for a little bit I am going to put a little bit of pressure on the chi on the flex cable so that it doesn't move. That looks pretty good, but we're going to go ahead and put a little more solder so that it's very stable. Perfect. You can see that both contacts or points are touching in a good way. We're going to secure the flex cable just at that point. And I don't think we need to worry about that one. So now that it's ready, let's insert it in here. We can bend it here, but I don't like to bend it too much. Let's try it this way, okay? I think... I guess we are going to have to bend it a little bit. Let's do this. So it is in place. Where's that other chip? This chip, if I am not mistaken, I believe it goes like this. That clicked in fine properly and good. Zooming out so you guys can see. Now we're going to flip this over. I'm going to hold right here so that it doesn't disturb any of the uh, CPU connectors there that clicked and now before we put that um, shield cover let's test it we're going to turn it on we're going to put some power on here and uh, press the power button here the chip is uh, white it's uh, blue and it should flash white before we uh, turn it over and check make sure that it's glitching right now so green now it should work I don't want to short anything but there you go so this is at the actual RP2040 chip and uh, that's it hopefully this video has helped some of you guys if you guys have any questions feel free to contact me I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the power supply here start the battery and now I can go ahead and put some thermal paste the thermal paste that they use sometimes comes a little dry I'm gonna it feels it looks good so we're gonna put some thermal paste back on here the thermal paste is fine as soon as we put that um, the heat sink here the, uh, the metal shield it'll kind of spread all over so with the battery out we're gonna ho go ahead and put this on here the shield back on there The 
the shield is secure and in place and uh, we can put a little bit of tape on top of here I'm gonna just put a little bit of uh, captain tape and, uh, and that's it guys this is pretty much done this is the installation of a version 1 RP2040 on a Nintendo Switch uh, original I'm gonna put a little bit a little more thermal paste on here on there and uh, and close it up put the heatsink back on there but it needs a little more thermal paste anyway so if you guys have any questions feel free to contact us yao.org w-a-y-a-y-e-o.org thank you guys for watching if you guys want to install this chip on any other devices like the OLED please see our other videos I have some videos on there for the OLED uh, and I think I need to make one for um, for light as well as uh, the uh, wired just the raw installation of a WaveShare RP2040 on, a, on an OLED that's another project uh, we will be uploading more videos in the future hit like subscribe thank you guys for watching see you guys next time